Would you look at that? Rare can do it if they just want to. Isn't it beautiful? So beautiful. <sighs> nice. Willkommen zurück, dear Sea of Thieves viewer and players. <sighs> I'm so refreshed, so relaxed and so rejuvenated, is that correct English? From doing nothing, only screwing around, just scaring other players for fun. Not even thinking them, not even stealing their loot, not doing anything, but small time fun shenanigans with this guy who also has all the cosmetics now that he wants. Oh, relaxing. But this can't be it. This can't be everything, right? Where's the drama? Okay, here's a little bit of drama. Yeah, no, just kidding. But if you sail around in the Sea of Thieves, in the real Sea of Thieves, in the open world, and you come across something like another player, God forbid, who has some kind of skeleton curse, but a very unique skeleton curse, if you, <laughs> if you know what I mean, then you're feeling a little bit weird, because the few skeleton costumes shop costumes which are in the game they destroy basically everything that i am talking about in these videos everything that i am talking about in the last month and make me feel like an idiot to some degree for having played normally and having done this allegiance bullshit. and that's really it i cannot can really not describe enough how little I am interested in the higher skeleton cosmetics, how little I want to play the hourglass mode anymore, and my discussions with other players in the last weeks and months were basically, no, Rhea wanted this mode purely for PvP, there is no PvE path. Defending is not a PvE path because um, you are getting invaded at least once. You are getting invaded because, especially since people stop playing, the, the you will be invaded after like 10 minutes or something. M sometimes even 3 minutes. I remember the first day, the first day this was before my old PC broke actually, I could still play, I was logging in with my crewmate and we were doing a Veil mission because we did not understood how allegiance works back then. We didn't understood that diving was more efficient. And we could complete an entire Veil mission. And we were probably around for 30 minutes to a full hour. And only then were we invaded. When we had all the loot on our ship had much to lose, so to say. And we were invaded and we won this battle even though it started very misfortunate. But this won't happen anymore, not today. If you defend now, maybe on a very inactive day or if the system decides it wants to be funny, you are only getting evaded after uh, 20 minutes and then it's PvP anyway. There is no PvE path. There is no PvE path progression. And people are always telling me this is the intended mode, this is how Rare intended it. And you will never be able, so so to say it's a short version, to buy any allegiance at all for anything in the game, for not for doubloons, not for gold, not for ancient coins. <sighs> Which is kinda true, because it's not really true, if you can. Which pretty much is the whole thing. Buy actual skeleton curse cosmetics for ancient coins. They are not the usual skeleton curses, but you can become a skeleton pirate with the Warsmith thing, then there's the Krampus costume and the Blackheart Banshee, with which my crewmate already has. And okay, you cannot mix and mash them up, but you cannot mix and mash them up that much anyway, because as you can see, I have pretty much the meta now which makes me the edgiest looking, the coolest looking. I'm not trying to be a tuck skeleton with the dark red bones 
which I could purchase, but I won't. I think a skeleton should be kind of flashy and it should be fun. You should do roleplay with it, which I do. And I'm really realizing the limits already from, from the skeleton curse. I knew it would happen. I cannot buy that much torso pieces or head pieces. And zoos that really, that really are eye catching. They are all hit behind more allegiance. And then you have somebody who is spending, huh, I don't know, 30 US dollars or Euro. I don't know if this is the correct value. And he buys the most juicy ancient coins pack and just buys the war smith or the blackheart benji or the krampus costume and he is not playing one day in this awful re repetitive hourglass pvp mode and just gets a costume and yeah and i have met such a player while i had this what you are seeing right now and i was feeling like wow pay to win guys now it's it's really it's really that it's really again pay to win i cannot uh, yeah i cannot say it in a other way i must say it bluntly this war snip war smith costume especially okay who cares if it's not bright gold it looks kind of gold and it looks metallic it has a long coat it has a captain hat so to say it's a it's one of the coolest skeletons Nothing that you can get with the official cosmetics from the real Skeleton Curse can compete. The real Skeleton Curse cosmetics are also, they make you look worn down, you are, a, you are torn from the weather and the times, you are undead and it's, it's visible in your clothes. And the shop costumes look very fine, not tethered at all. But it's, it doesn't matter, right? It doesn't matter, right? And with just with the skeleton shop costumes, there's actually a viable play, uh, skeleton curse in the game. Who cares about that we all know it's not the real skeleton curse. Sea of Thieves is a cosmetic game and in one way or the other, cosmetics are everything. People play for fun, for some the cosmetics are the fun, some are playing collection modes in general, hunt achievements, which give you nothing. No ancient coins, no doubloons, no costumes. Uh, they just want to be completionists. Everybody has a different meaning of what it means to have fun. And when I saw this guy, I was just like, oh man, what am I doing? What have I done? I'm not doing it anymore. But I really felt like an idiot. I felt like an idiot. I saw this guy, he had the co shop costume and I felt like a fool. I, I felt like I was <laughs> such a fool. <laughs> yeah and then you find somebody who, who has actually bought his skeleton goes oh <laughs> well i don't want to talk again because every point is listed now maybe until another day maybe until tomorrow or the day after tomorrow i don't know because i'm just chilling doing real life stuff and recovering still from what i have done to achieve the curses there's only one real advantage to have the real skeleton curse and also the ghost curse and that is now you are in the cool club again you can access the entire athena hideout again and you can actually go into the reapers there which is this is what i really like about this privilege of having uh yeah licked the boot of the warring factions for long enough then they say, okay, you can see everything we have now. You are a VIP now. This is the real content. Now you are re a real pirate for the good and the bad guys. And you are the real thing again. If you cannot enter this extended hideout in Athena and the true Reaper hideout beneath, then you are not the real thing. It doesn't matter if you have the PvE reputation only. Which is kind of dumb, but it is what it is. Not going into repetitive mode. Have a nice day.